You should have shot him, man. That was your chance. So I was trying to ask you how to do it because I, I aimed with the right mouse button. <laughs> there isn't an arrow in your crop. How do you put an arrow in it? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Rust video. Before we start, I want to give you guys some insight into what's going on. In this video, Hello. I'm playing with my dad. Hello. That may sound like something a dad wouldn't do, but my dad isn't the traditional dad. He's an experienced gamer, just not oh, so much no. with FPS games like Rust. We played a couple of times in the past and I've actually uploaded our times playing together. And my latest with him is a sequel to what you will see in this video. If you want to check those out after, they're linked in the description. But just recently, I bought him a brand new gaming PC. At the time of recording this video, it was pretty much his first time playing on it. The story we found ourselves in was actually way better than I thought it would be. I think you'll be surprised. If you guys want to see more Papa Print gameplay, then let's shoot for 60,000 likes. I've never really asked for this before, but might as well try it. Anyways, that's a long enough intro. Let's hop right into it. I started off our journey on a very small popped server. I wanted to show my dad the ropes without constantly being shot at by players. Obviously that's part of the game, but you have to learn to walk before you learn to run. After over an hour of playing, I taught him a few basic things like looting, bandit camp, recyclers, and base building before we got off for the day. I had plans for tomorrow, but we played the day of four swipe, and the server we played on happened to be a Friday wipe server. And since four swipe is on Thursday, that means that it wiped the next day. No way. It's a Friday wipe server? Oh my god. God, man, such a joke. So we lost all of our progress and instead we hopped on a new server to start fresh. This is officially when the story starts. <sighs> Welcome to Rust. Today, we're playing with my dad. All right, dad, I'm in the server. This is a really interesting map. Where are you? Um. C18. Nice. I'm going to spawn over there because I like that spot. Where should I go then? Uh, Just hit some trees and try and find some stone. You see that gas station? Oh, I see it. Harbor. Yeah, I see it. Oh, it's some gas station. Meet me there. Okay. I got a green key card. I think I hear you coming up on the horse. Hey, man. Let's get in a team. Hey, you want to try? You want to try this? These are pickles, and there's a 40% chance that you're gonna throw up if you eat them. Oh, that was a good one. <gasps> you have really good pickle luck. All right, so back here in this room, there's a little ladder. Why is it not doing it? Here, jump on my head. There it goes. There you go. <laughs> Why didn't it work before? I'll climb up. Freaking broken. You suck. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> Why? Jump. What is it doing? Look up and jump. There you go. <laughs> oh my <laughs> no, god. No, don't fall off. You're on the right on the edge. I almost fell off the roof. What the heck? There's two crate spawns up here. There's one behind this, and then there's one right here. What's this over here? It's just like an electrical station. There's like a couple barrels that spawn in this, but that's the only use for it. All right, so what are we going to do once it gets dark? Well, there isn't a whole lot we can do because we can't use our eyeballs when it's nighttime. So I guess we'll hang out at a bandit camp until it becomes day and then we'll go build a base. Oh, look, see, here's a crate. Some of these electrical stations have a crate like this. Oh my God. Okay. You see this? Check this yeah. box. That's, that's an electrical fuse. They're really common, but we need it because I have this green key card. Oh, okay. So we're actually going to do this first. Follow me. <clears throat> we're going to go to Harbor. You see this flashing light in here? Yeah. That's where we put in the fuse. Here, why don't you do it? Pick up that fuse and then open that little fuse box. Put the fuse in it. You can right click or drag it in. Okay. Now, now that's got a 160 second timer. And then you come out here. Where'd you go? Yep. Turn on this switch that says turn on. 
so if you don't know how to do puzzles, look for this wire. You see this? Yeah. You follow the wire. Every monument's different, but you always follow the wires. They always lead to the puzzle. And then here it stops at this keypad that's on. You see how it's green and I have a green card? Yep. You swipe it. And then you come inside and look at what's on this desk right here. That's a blue key card. So nice. you pick that up and then now you can go into a blue key card monument. Oh, there's a bed in this. Beds are really good. Are they hard to make? Well, they're just kind of annoying to find. Ooh, a rock. You want to smack it? No, that's 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 sulfur. That isn't stone. That's useless right now. Can you get up here somehow? Oh my god, this is a never-ending sheer... It's the cliffs of Dover. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh we're, you're here. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. There's someone in this base. Okay, I'm gonna sit down and gamble. How much scrap do Mount. you have? Shut up. I'm going all in on one. All in, baby. So what if you hit the one? You don't get much, do you? You get double whatever you have. It's gonna be one, man. 100%. Fuck. Let's get out of here. Let's go build a base. Hey, where did you get a bow? I made it. 50 cloth and 200 wood. There's some mushrooms over here by me, too. Those aren't toxic, so you can eat them. Are some mushrooms in this game toxic? Right there. No. There's only one type of mushroom. It's straight ahead. Those look like Amanita muscaria. Those are very deadly <laughs> in real life. Okay, let's go towards... Let's go south. Do you think you could build the same base that we built on the other server together? Do you think I could? Yeah, do you, like, remember how, like, the layout? Hmm, I don't know. I could try. Slap her down right here. This is as good a spot as any, right on this flat spot here. Uh, here's the building plan. And then here's a bunch of wood and stone. Make sure the foundations are, like, you know, about waist high. Yeah, that's good. And then connect, yeah. And then now, throw down your walls. How does this work? Okay, so to upgrade, use the hammer. But to, yeah. you need to keep placing more walls. Building plan, hold right click, you get a wheel. There it is, okay. And how you're building now is how you want to build. You want to make sure that you're facing away when you build your base, because there's a soft side to every wall. And so this one, I need the doorway, right? Uh-huh. Nice. Now you put the square ceilings. Nice. There you go. All right, now I'll upgrade it all to stone. And that's with the hammer. Yep. Are you out? Yeah, I'm out. I'll go look for one more. I found a flame turret. You found stone, by the way? Yeah, I got stone. All right, cool. Okay, so now it's the door. No, don't worry about it. I got the door in the code lock. How did you create... What am I missing? Oh, metal fragments is what I was missing for the code lock. Got it. Here, upgrade this one above the TC first. There we go. Nice. What I like to do if I try and depot stuff into my tool cupboard is I just hover loot my entire inventory and then it'll automatically choose what's a resource and depot it into the TC. Nice. It's a really nice way to clear your inventory. What about the code lock? Yeah, you need to type in the code for those. Boldy, you're on fire. We're supposed to back right next to the bed. Put it like uh, away from the wall because we could place something here. So put it like right in the center, of the, right there. Try to not put it on this line though, so that we can place a doorway there later. So should I do a parallel next to it? I got yeah. a spot. He's, can you see where I'm going to place it? No, just as long as it's not on this line. That is, like, as bad as he could have done it. What? Because, <laughs> look. You said to put it in the middle of the room. I said, no, on in the, right here is what I meant. Like, in the middle of the square that... Can I, I move it? You have your hammer, right? <laughs> yes. Take it out, hold E on the bag. This is how you pick up pretty much everything in the game. All right. Put it where I... Where, this hole right there. After getting a basic base down, I took my dad to water treatment to show him the puzzle since we had a blue key card. 
So water treatment is one of the few bigger monuments that doesn't have any radiation. You there? You're pretty quiet. Yeah, I'm here. I'm looking for you. I'm right behind you. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm playing with my binoculars. <laughs> yeah, you're a weirdo. Okay, so this is the fuse room. I want you to take a guess on how to open this door. Um, maybe turn this thing? Do it. Look, there's a military crate here and a bunch of boxes. All right, come up here. I'm gonna throw in a fuse and then you activate this and now we gotta run because that's a timer. You see the wires? Yep. Climb up this ladder. The room's right here. Oh my God. This is the most green crates I've ever seen. I'm gonna recycle some sewing kits and stuff and then we can get you a bow, but I also need to heal them really low. So in that room with radiation, it, um, there was a red key card, so now we can do the most, the highest tier monuments in the game, and hopefully get a gun that way. But first we should probably, uh, get a lower tier gun to actually do those monuments, because there's some hard AI. Alright, I'm ready to go home. Alright, I'll follow you, dude. Let's do it. I see our house. It's not on fire. Yeah. Uh, you want to make a workbench level one? Yeah, sure. Damn, how much metal fragments do I need? All right, let me show you some speed building. Wait, I want to do the thing. Oh, damn. Oh, 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 locked in. Yep, that's great. All right, now we can make compound bows, or you can make a crossbow, whatever you want. I'll try crossbow. This guy is lagging like crazy. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. I just killed the guy because he was just freezing midair. Hello, my friend. How are you? You are very laggy, so my friend. So once you enter the code once, you never have to do it again? Nope. I killed some guy over here. He's pretty loaded. I'm picking him up, though. I have no idea where I'm running. It's so dark. I'm just following... Your hey, green hello? dot. Hello? What the hell? Oh, the person. Hello? Hi. Hi. Hey, it's Mr. Bugs. How are you doing, man? Can you do me a favor and kill me? Why would I do that? You should have shot him, man. That was your chance. So I was trying to ask you how to do it because I, I aimed <laughs> with my right mouse button and then I'm clicking with the left and nothing is happening. <laughs> there isn't an arrow in your... How do you put an arrow in it? <laughs> you can't, you reload it. Press R. Oh, you're a dick. <laughs> I didn't know. I, I thought you would have gone past that step. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to know that? I don't you know. You moron. You reload it. I asked you earlier, you're like, you just aim it, and you click the left mouse button, and it just auto-shoots. So I'm sitting there pointing it at that clown's face, <laughs> licking, and then and the thing's like barely like bobbing up and down. And I'm like, this is bugged. This is even work. He's oh my god, Jesus, we are screwed. You're not gonna be able to use that fucking thing. This guy walks up and says, "Shoot me." I'm like, <laughs> yes. And then I'm clicking, I'm clicking, <laughs> shooting. Wait, someone's uh, outside. Go kill him. Hello, my you missed! <laughs> he hasn't killed anyone yet. He needs to get his first kill. I'm trying to get my I'm first kill. I'm trying to get my first kill. You I again. suck! Oh wait, I need to aim. Okay, wait. Aim. Headshot. Nice! Nice! <laughs> this poor guy. His name was Noodle. <laughs> poor Noodle. I'm sorry, Noodle. Sorry, Noodle. <laughs> I can't believe you missed that guy twice. Let's go find some more people, man. There's a hazmat right in front of us. Should we get him? I don't know. He's, he's friendly. <laughs> Shoot him. <laughs> you missed. <laughs> he's coming. Run, he's got a double barrel. Watch this. <laughs> he's gone, baby. He's out of there. <laughs> Come, Noodle. How did I miss? Actually, I'll get it. Okay, this weapon might be more your size. I got a double barrel. Okay, so actually, that guy had 
two med syringes, a hazmat, and a double barrel. I'm going to research this double barrel. So you make a research table with 20 scrap and 200 metal frags. And I'll let you research this double barrel. Okay. Here. Here's that. So what do I do? I put the scrap at the bottom. So you just put it into the table? Yeah. Press E on the table. I did. I opened the table. Now drag the scrap. Not the metal frags. The scrap into the scrap okay. to use icon area. There okay, you go. yes, I, I did this. Okay, now put the double barrel in the item to research thing. Ooh, shiny. Now, now put, begin research. There you go, baby. All right, now click that and click learn blueprint. Now you can craft double barrel shotguns. Congratulations, nice. Dad. Double barrel shotgun. There's someone out here with a gun. Ah! This guy outside with a gun! Yeah, hide in your base, pussy. <laughs> How do I use this bandage? You need to put it in your hotbar. Oh! Are you just completely unbeknownst to the fact that I'm fighting a guy outside right now? Do you want me to come out and help you? Yeah, it would be, it would be nice. Can't open the door. What the frick? You need to put in the code. I, I I took them off. I just shot it. Yeah, you need you need to hold E. <laughs> He's down. I killed him. I just got us a gun. That's actually insanely good. Thanks for your help, Dad. Well, dude, I'm so slow. <laughs> I can barely open the door here, man. Oh wow. I got us a Thompson, don't worry. And just like that, I got us a gun. Like I said earlier, after getting the red key card, I wanted to find a good enough gun so we could take oil rig together. The Thompson was the perfect weapon to do so. We had about 500 scraps, so I immediately researched it, along with pistol ammo and med syringe. All we needed was a little more scrap, and we could make a tier two workbench to craft everything we needed. <laughs> Dude, I don't want to take it off. That looks amazing. That scrap was no! easily made in just one water treatment run. I'm dying! But what happened next caught me completely off guard. I want the night vision goggles. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, don't you want the dive mask? No, fuck off. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do the fucking puzzle. Oh. That could be our base. You, did you hear that explosion? No, I just hear a helicopter. Yeah, that is our base getting raided 100%. They're at they're through the first door. Two more satchels and they're all the way in. Careful, they're right over this hill. There's at least two. You die. He's shooting me. Down. I'm dead. <clears throat> Damn, these guys are lame. Shit. Oh, I'm dead. Well, that's how you get raided. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so we researched. We researched guns, but we lost everything else. Oh, wait, you guys really raiding on a noob friendly server? Shit! Oh, this guy's mad. Damn. This is the guy I killed for the Thompson. That's why I came back. Yeah, hide in your base, pussy. He's down. I killed him. Watch this. Right away, I connected the dots. All it took was one double barrel and a Thompson loss for these guys to hate us. They came over in full gear with satchel charges and took all of our stuff. Like I said at the start, I was playing on low population servers to avoid something like this from happening. But despite my efforts, it happened anyway. I guess you really can't escape Rust's true nature. All right, for real though, let's cut the suspense. I didn't anticipate I'd be dragging my dad through a revenge story, but here we are. We hated these guys, and we figured that on such a small server, we'd eventually find out where unknown and fuck hoes suck toes lived. 
Okay, let's just call him Suck for short. Anyways, we may have lost everything, but we did research a few things just in the nick of time. If we could get another base up with a tier two workbench, we'd be in business. And a Chinook crate at water treatment would get the ball rolling. Okay, I killed this guy. How'd you kill him? That gun? Yeah, I had that shitty little gun. Work. Did you did you loot the crate? No, it's gonna open in a minute. Uh, that's okay. There's a Thompson. Yeah, really, the the Thompson's the best thing there. The rocket launcher is good. Two eight X's. If I find these guys again, I'll be able to kill them. I just need more HP. Where did they move the fucking recycler to in in sewer satellite dish? Oh, that's a cool spot. I'm over at Satellite Dish right now. I'm just gathering a bunch of stuff. It's weird. It's like some sounds I just don't hear anything right now. What do you need? Um, stone. Are you hitting a stone node with a rock right now? Yep. Stop. I need to get it with the pickaxe so I can get more. Here, take a hundred stone. Oh, nice. There's plenty of stone. Alright. Base is secure. I've heard that before. Yeah, I guess. Damn. Oh, you still have the blue card. Uh, I did. He left the blue card on my body. That's something. Right. Although we lost a lot of progress midway through, we ended the day strong. It was getting late, so my dad and I logged off for the day. All I wanted was to teach my dad the basics, but suck and unknown ripped that away from me. I may not be able to find them by the time I was done with this server, but I wouldn't forget them. Day two, and uh, we are an offline. That's quite nice. Hey. Yo. I will be joining. Cool. Uh, so my plan for today is um, I want to go do oil rig or cargo ship to get explosives. Because okay. we have a rocket launcher from that Chinook crate. So all we need now is an explosive and a rocket. And then we can start rocket rating, which would be really nice. Or even C4 rating would be nice, I guess, or any any type of rating. All right. I see that cargo's out right now, so I think that we should. I think I, I think we should try and head head to that. Never mind, actually. I think we should just do large oil rig. It's like cargo's kind of more. It's tougher and. Um, oil rig is just probably the better way to go. We were able to farm up just over 500 scrap last night, so the first thing I did on day two was craft a level two workbench. Then I went over to water treatment to grab a red key card so we could do oil rig. Before we went though, we were kind of low on resources. I wanted to have furnaces smelting while we were out running oil rig, so we headed out to fill our inventories with farm. But yeah, just try and find some rocks. Hit them and get stuff. God, this game looks so pretty now. I like farming and stuff like this. It's actually... Yeah. That's like... Something I enjoy, the grindy part, you know? Yeah, it's definitely um what I enjoyed more than PvP in the beginning because it was something that I felt comfortable with. Yeah, I think I think we've got plenty now. Also, what is that over there? I want to give that a gander when we go to oil rig. What? There's a base across the water. Oh, I see it. Was that there last night? I, I don't think so. All right. Why don't you uh show some loots? Yeah. Let's see what you got. Wait, where the hell are you depoting? Not even. Oh, I see. 
Right after getting home, we headed straight to large oil rig. This was the first time my dad has done oil rig, so we were gonna take things slow and stick together. Grab, grab those meds, the four meds top right, and some more pistol ammo. How much do you have now? Nine. Nine? Out? Yeah. Oh, well then grab all 96 pistol bullets in the top right. Okay, I got them. Also, put on that kilt. If I were you, I'd replace your frog How come I can't put it on? Well, you probably have a full armor slot. Underneath your player icon is how much armor you can wear at a time. So, I'm wearing the kill, but my Johnson's dangling. We'll put on the pants. I can't. Yes, you can. <coughs> the kilt takes up the pants slot, you dolt. So trade it for something else. What? Listen, listen. You can wear pants and a kilt. So. Oh, I see what you're saying. Try, try and get so. rid of something. Uh, like the frog boots. The frog boots don't offer any protection, so okay. you can put the kilt on and then you can put on the pants. There you go. And then you can put uh, okay. the frog boots on. Okay, alright. I thought those were slots that were specific to the pants, and that's why... I, <laughs> I can't put them on, you don't! <laughs> I can't. I'm not gonna hit you with a hatchet now. Okay. We actually do need to be careful for the helicopter, but I think it's far enough away that we'll be okay. Wait, do you want to check out this base over here? Yeah, the one across the water. You can see the person in this base. Look, you can see him in there sleeping. All right, so we're fine. We're trying to find a boat. They randomly spawn on the shores, but you can also buy them from fishing villages. But I usually try and just find one because buying one, I feel like, is sort of a waste since you can find them. Okay, so you see way out there? That's a large yeah. oil rig. And usually oil rigs don't spawn right next to each other, but there's small oil rig over there. Small rig is easier to do. There's way less scientists, but you get less loot. Um, large rig is harder to do, but you get more loot. And also, you don't need a blue card to access the actual good part of it. There's a wolf right there. Take him out! Get it! Nice. Uh, go right. We're gonna go to the one over there, 200. Going to the big one? Yep. You can still get closer. Yeah, right about here is good. Yeah, this is good. You can turn off the engine. Okay, I got it. Okay, you can get out now. Just hide behind that box. The scientists can give you extra ammo and meds, so... Ouch. Oh my god, there's so many coming down. What's your HP at? Keep an eye on your health. 92. Okay, I think we can start pushing up now. Climb up this ladder. What the fuck? Where is he? I don't know. He's right there. Okay. Uh, he's dead. See, okay, this body right below you, you see how it has some pistol bullets? Grab those. Okay. But yeah, just loot as many bodies as you can. If you need any ammo, let me know. Ooh, look what I just found. Garage door. Garage door is a really good thing to have. He's right here, you can kill him. He's pushing, he's pushing right where you were looking. Nice. Oh, look what he has, no way. <laughs> he has a chainsaw. Sweet! Nice. Just went ahead there. Yeah. He's in CS, let's go. Shit. Yeah, it came down the stairs at me. Yep. There's more coming. Careful, they they, they they come down that staircase like water. Okay, you can come up. I don't think there's a lot left. I hear one. Yeah, he's in the red room right here. Okay, so 
Before we enter this room, I want to give you a little bit of a warning, okay? There is a right. Chinook crate in this room. If you press E on it, you're going to call in heavy scientists. So don't press E on it, okay? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I'm making some more bandages. And you see these, uh, these crates are different. These are called elite crates. Sometimes they can spawn really good stuff, but these elite crates suck a ball sack. But yeah, would you like to do the honors? Turn on the crate. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Begin hacking. Alright, if you want, you can see them land. So you can, like, stand right here and watch it land. And then right when it lands, I'd get inside that house. Get inside! They're coming! You're scaring the shit out of me. See? Uh, there's the big boy. I'm gonna try and piece that guy. Hold on. Oh shit, there's a guy right here. Okay, killed it. Uh, five. Oh! That's what I mean. They, they glitched through. Glitched. Get in the room. Get in this room. Shit. Get in this room. Shit. Yeah, they, they hurt. And, they, and they're fucking bugged. Here he comes. Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. Thump, thump. <laughs> what is that oh my god, I'm gonna die! Move, move! Oh shit! Is he coming? Yeah. I'm closing this door. He's, in there. Oh, he's right there! Let's open this door and spray him. You ready? Three, two, one. He's fucking wasted. Nice. <laughs> You're spraying the wall, man. <laughs> Two of them. Yeah. Well done. One more. One more. One more. Oh my god, that... I just... Okay. It's dead. Okay, they're all dead. I think. You can start looting the bodies if you want. Uh, I want you to look at this body right here. That's an AK. That's the second best gun in the game. Well, in my opinion, it's the best gun in the game because I don't like the M249, but... So, what if we go back into this room where we did the hack? Yeah, we're that, that is also going to give us stuff, too. But we have to wait five minutes? Yeah. All right, now come over to this room. There's a research table in here that works. So I'm going to put the garage door in there and research that. Load fuel out of that. Oh, crate unlocked. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. You should come see this. So, we got an LR-300. That's the gun that those other scientists were shooting. And we got a armored single door. And the face mask. Click the face mask. Look how much protection that gives you. Oh, wow. So, that's a whole 15 more than what you armored have. Armored door? It's the best mask in the game. Yeah, armored door. There's your window. Yep, there's the good window. We, could, we did large oil rig. Round of applause. We did it, Dad! Nice, dude. We did it, Dad! Yeah! We killed all the scientists! Fuck science! <laughs> yeah, there's some pretty heavily armed scientists. Oh shit! Where is he? It was just a spare scientist we missed. Let's go! Let's jump in. Yep. You see that? Coming in? No, top right. Top right of the island. Oh yeah, what is that? Hover over it. What cargo does it say? Ship. Yep. Locked crate in a cargo, cargo ship. So right as we wrapped up oil rig, cargo ship spawned in. I wanted to show my dad that as well. So our plan was to quickly depot and head straight back out. Okay, so do you want to stick with the Thompson or would you like to try out the LR? Uh, I don't want to lose the LR. Okay. That's the thing. That's fair this enough. This shotgun looks awesome, dude. It hurts, <laughs> yeah. You can roam with it if you want. Like you can roam Thompson and Double barrel? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, D go for it, man. It's no big deal if you lose a Thompson or a double barrel, because we can always just make more. But the LR is unresearchable. You can only find them. It's really easy to use, though. Compared to the AK, it's much less recoil. This guy would probably be a really good raid, but we need actual explosives for that. They have sheet metal doors. We have Explo ammo, so it's possible.
Nice job, Dad. That was fun. Yeah. Oh, damn. So it protects that. Yeah. Oh, wow, you're doubling down. Yep. So, but someone, the smartest thing to do would be just blast through... The wall, like, exactly. But that's yeah. why you upgrade the walls to sheet metal or you honeycomb. So that's what I'm gonna... So after we're done with know, cargo ship, yeah. Honeycomb meaning pizza that people are trying to guess which wall is the one to waste all the rockets on. Well, it's not even that. I'll, I'll show you what honeycombing is, but... I'll do that after we get back from cargo. Because cargo's coming around right now. So we should head out for in a sec. I love that our boat's still there. Yep. It does decay fast, though, unless if you make a boat base. So, to bar board cargo, it's kind of hard. Um, I'm not gonna board until you're on, but basically what you do is you... I'm gonna go drive up, right up against the ladder, and then you have to press E and hold W to climb. Try not to fall off. Wait, say that again? I'll tell you when to get on. Get ready. Now, press E. All right, climb up. Get all the way up. You're good. Okay. Now we just kill all the scientists. That was me. Wait, there's a boat. Someone's coming. No, they're all dead. Kill them all. Okay, um, I'm gonna jump in and loot this, okay? Stay on here, okay? Have fun and then looting stuff. I'll be back, okay? Just keep killing the scientists. I killed him! Nice. Holy nice. shit, man. I just got so much from these guys. And explosives. Oh, nice. That's another part of the puzzle. We need an explosive, a rocket, and a rocket launcher. Okay. Shit, I don't know where the last guy died. Um, by the way, you need to get down there and you need to activate all those three crates as fast as you can because there actually is a timer on cargo and it will leave unannounced. I need to go back to base before I can come to you because I don't have enough low grade to catch up. Wait a second, there's some stuff in this boat. In the front of their boat, they have like satchel charges and shit. They have a bed, 66, 700 cloth? They had 700 cloth in this boat, in their storage. That's enough what? for a sheet metal door. Yeah, we can do some genuine raiding, dude. I kid you not. He, oh, I'm wounded, fuck. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna need to go back together. Type kill in console, fuck. I'm at base. I could not see what direction he was shooting from, and he killed me. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't even get to turn on any of the crates, dude. That motherfucker started shooting me. Yeah, if you can't kill scientists, uh, it's gonna be a hard time killing players, I'll tell you that. Okay, so honestly, I'm thinking of heading down and around. Because it's so far up the map now, that like, if we try and catch up with it, it's just gonna like, get farther away. Uh, let me know if you see a floating body bag out here. Wait, I think I see a body bag. Oh yeah, here, I got you a gun. I'm putting it in this box. Honestly, I don't know if we'll have enough time to like loot the crates. I don't know, cause I don't know if we'll have 15 minutes to wait for the crates to unlock. I don't know if it's gonna despawn. That's gonna take us at least another three minutes to get there. And then what happens, just all the scientists respawn? There's people rushing us in this boat right in front of us! They're both dead. <laughs> Did you hit him at all? Yeah. Nice. I heard a crack. Nice, he headshot him. It's them again, same guys. <laughs> they kind of had stuff. This guy had another MP5 and a Thompson. 
We made it back to cargo, but right as we got on it, it started to despawn, and we couldn't find my dad's body in time. However, with the three extra gear sets and loot their boat had, it was still a profitable run. When we got home, we both took a break. My dad was done for the night, but I logged on a couple of hours later to recycle off camera. That's when I slammed my record button as soon as I heard four satchels going off right next door. Okay, so I'm just chilling, trying to run tunnels or run sat dish and there's people satchel raiding right next to me. It's just four satchels. I think it's just one guy raiding right now. Holy shit, man, my heart just started racing. Whoever was raiding this ran up this direction. I think probably lives in that base right there. I think he just wanted to do a four quick satchels. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Isn't this the guy that raided me? Suck toes, fuck hoes. How could I forget that name? I think it is the guy who raided me. Suck toes, fuck hoes. I think this is the guy. At that moment, I wasn't sure. It's been an entire day since I've last fought Suck or Unknown. And to be honest, I really didn't think I'd run into them again. Better yet, figure out where they live. I think he lives right here, dude. That would make sense. I'm gonna keep raiding this. I'm gonna bring a flamethrower though. Now that I knew this raid was his, I had to finish it myself. But getting back home wasn't gonna be so easy. They think I'm cheating. Holy shit, man. I'm gonna try and finish this raid. God, I, I actually can't flame raid this because it's so bugged. I just put a hundred low grade into this doorway. It's supposed to take like 80. Flame raiding is so bad in this game. Oh my god! Son of a bitch. Another fucking door. I need to do an entire loop. I wanna make sure this guy doesn't know where I live. Either way, if he's raiding with satchels, there's no way he's gonna be able to raid my base, but I don't want him to know where I live anyway. I ran out of satchels, but luckily I still had that explosive ammo I got from the cargo run. So I grabbed enough for one more door and a tool cupboard, then headed straight back. Holy fucking shit, this base is endless. The raid actually doesn't end. I think I can finish it. I think I have enough, but I'm not sure. Two satchels and a bean can. It's enough, but it would be all of our explosives. I think it's worth the risk, man. I'm gonna at least research bean can. Again, what does he have? A DB? <laughs> Holy 
please be the last door, man. This base is nothing but doors. It's crazy. Okay. Yes. Unlock TC. Perfect. Boom. Secured. AK. Satchel. Ladder. Let's go, man. Base secured. I wish my dad was here, but he isn't. Feels bad. I think once when he sees that there's a door on it, he won't come back. If he comes out of his base, um, I'm just gonna let him go over and just realize that it's GG. <laughs> he just armored his base. No way. He's actually armoring his base. He's that scared of us raiding him. Honestly, I I, I'm, I would have probably went through doors anyway, to be honest. I don't think he's coming out. I feel like he would have by now. I think he's done. I think that armoring stunt was just him making sure he wasn't going to get offline. There he is. Yeah, he just realized the raid's over. <laughs> he just went down to check it out. Now he's running back up. Dude, he knows that I'm after his ass, man. He knows. That's why he armored his base. He realized who I am, and he knew that I'm out for revenge. And he just instantly armored his base. Day two was an important day. I learned where my arch nemesis of the server lived. And with that information, I had an end goal in mind. You can probably guess what that was, but to get into a base like that, I knew I needed to C4 or rocket raid it, both of which we weren't ready for yet. Besides, when I woke up the next morning, I wanted to focus on making sure our base was upgraded first. With the amount of attention I brought in last night, I had a feeling some people took some interest into our base. Oh, would you look at that? It's a ladder here. No, sir. Obviously, someone was planning to come raid us, so I just want to make sure that uh, we don't get raided. Shortly after getting the base upgraded, my dad hopped on. Hi. Hey. I guess I should probably go with the metal face mask instead of the dog water helmet. We don't have any cloth, huh, Aiden? Check out the bits here, too. I put a box there. That's what I usually do. You, like, put the, um, tier 2 workbench. Little did I know, this wasn't a good time to go AFK. dead hey what's up man are you outside Actually, right now oh shit yeah, someone's uh, outside no like outside of our house that's not me i'm over at the crate waiting for it yeah, to unlock yeah th there's a person right outside you want me to come back um yeah if you could like flank him and like tell me where he is and like distract him or something okay i can push out and try and kill him but he's wait he's in our doorway he's waiting inside of our doorway dude did you leave the front door open? No, I shut it. I did hear us um, explosions. Oh, well, dude, they're raiding us right now. They're in our base. I'm on my way. You heard an explosion? It's our house. <laughs> they're raiding our where house. I was coming from. I'm pretty far, dude. I'm over here trying to get unlock this all crate. Alright, alright. Alright, I'm coming. 
They're running away. They're running away. One dead. Another one dead. Who was it? It's definitely them. Yep, unknown. Loot that guy right there. His gun's on the ground right there. Oh my god! This guy had a grenade launcher! They're coming back out. I see them. His gun? Okay, you got it all. Alright, let's go home. <laughs> oh, I heard an explosion, man. <laughs> Holy shit. I was about to lose all of our stuff. I was about to open this door, but then I see his gun poking through the door. And I'm like, wait, he's in our house. I just got a grenade launcher with 23 HEs. Nice. Look what all he right. just said in chat. If I knew you lived there, I wouldn't have tried to raid it. So he didn't know we lived here. So the boys came back for round two, but this time we won. Despite all of the loot I took from him last night, he was still running around in full metal gear, raiding every base he can find. We needed a lot more boom, but we'd definitely be using this loot against them later. Although my dad was clueless to the fact that we were getting raided, he did have the right idea about that locked crate. And sure enough, it had something we needed. Oh, okay, we got a C4. That's, uh, it's not bad. Wait, where did we get all this explosive ammo? Did you loot that off of one of these guys? Yeah. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> That's a lot. That's enough for like three sheet metal doors. So it turned out there was quite a bit of explosive ammo on Unknown's body, which I forgot to loot. So my dad and I took it over to a two by one I saw way at the beginning of the wipe. It was still standing two days later, so I felt like it would give us the boost and resources we needed in order to raid Suck. Okay, here's the base I wanted to raid. Um, it's a small base, a maximum of three doors. As long as they don't have a garage door in here, then we'll have enough. And then there's that base right there, too. Yeah, but this one has sheet metal, so I think it'll be better to raid this instead. I usually just spray it. But if you want to, like, take your time with your shots, you can. But it's literally a door right in front of you, so I hope that you don't miss it. So I'll just shoot the door. Yeah. Doesn't matter where on the door you hit, as long as you hit the door. Okay, another door. It's open. Oh! My god, this guy is loaded. Check this big box, dude. Two AKs, C4, Bolty. Damn. Okay. Oh, look at the, look at the tool cupboard. Look what was in that. The loot box under it. Oh shit. That's a lot of gunpowder. I'm making a door and I'm securing this. Grabbing the gunpowder. Yeah, go ahead and grab that. Wow, that was really, really grab worth scrap. it. That is what you call a, a pr massive profit raid. Oh, look in this small box. Nine explosives. All we need now is a rocket, and then we can do a rocket raid. Or we can do C4. We can C4 raid. That is possible. The problem with C4 is that you just don't get splashed, but C4 is faster. And check that furnace right there, dude. There's so much sulfur in there. Oh, wow. Damn, bro. Chill out. All right, you ready to go? Yep. That raid was literally exactly what I was hoping for. A small base sitting on a jackpot. With the amount of sulfur and gunpowder we got from that, as well as what we farmed, we could easily afford to craft explosives. All we had to do now was get a tier three, research C4, and research explosive, which honestly now thinking about it, isn't that easy. We needed over 2000 scrap if we wanted to raid. I did a big grind run, recycling most of our good components, but that only got us enough for the tier three alone. It was right after recycling that we heard heli. This could possibly get us more explosives, so of course we were gonna take it down. <gasps> you know, you hear that sound? Is that a heli? Yep. Of course we're doing this in the dark, I can't see shit. Yeah, it's ass. I see it, so I'm gonna try and tag it. Oh, you're even further upstairs. 
I hit it. It's gonna come. Get ready. It's gonna be coming from northeast. Alright, so now you hide while it shoots. And then you peek right now. Alright, it's gonna rock it. So, hide down here. Damn. Yep. Get that bitch! Shoot it! What are you doing? Shoot it. Damn it. Every time I go to aim, I don't see it anymore. It's down. I think I hit it like twice, dude. I don't think you hit it at all. Okay, I'm gonna go outside and, and cover. There's, there might be some people coming for this. Yep. Okay, so when you take down a helicopter, all the crates are on fire, and you have to wait about five minutes for all the crates to become un on fire, and then you can uh, loot them. So uh, just be uh, just be prepared for people. Look everywhere. Look in that forest over there to the east. If I'm if anyone's coming, it's gonna be from the east. That's for sure. Somebody coming. Where? There's somebody coming. Where? 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 You got a. The east to the east in the forest. Okay. Looks like two. They're sneaking. Yeah, I see them. One dead. They're both dead. You want to go loot them? I'll cover. That guy had something on his back. What was it? I don't know. Well, whatever gun you looted off the ground is what he had on his back. Oh, semi-auto. Oh, my goodness. All right, come over here. I need you to see this. So this is like your typical crate, just like an attachment. But this is a really good crate. Check what's in there. That's the best gun in the game. That's an M249. This is what it sounds like. Nice, dude. Nice, Dad. You killed a couple of counters. Good job. I just spotted them. I felt pretty good about that. Th that was good, actually. That was a good call. That I, I definitely wouldn't have seen those guys. That guy... No, that's not a semi. That's an M39. You might actually like to run with that gun. We didn't get any explosives from Heli, but we did find an M249. It was something I wanted to get in my dad's hands before the end of the wipe, so that along with the guns we got from the counters made it worth it, even after giving an AK gear set back to them. The guys who came to counter was Toenail and Extra, the same dudes I've killed on cargo ship and after that counter raid. I just felt kind of bad about it since I've been taking their loot the entire wipe. But this interaction wasn't the last you'd see of them. Our feud actually continues in the video I've posted on my second channel, Blueprints Bunker. So once again, I encourage you guys to go watch that after this video and maybe even subscribe while you're there. But anyways, after crafting a tier three, we were back to zero scrap. It took us a long time, but eventually we had enough to research everything we needed. And so, the crafting began. Scrap. Five scrap. Yeah, and we need 250 more. The explosives are coming along nicely. If that at all interests you. I wouldn't know. Well, your dumbass decided to go for an airdrop in the middle of the night. You encouraged it. It's your fault. Whatever you say, buddy. Okay, I'm tired, dude. You don't think you can stick around for the raid for like, it's in like 30 minutes? 30 more minutes? And then there's a raid? Yes. Or is the raid happening, and then in 30 minutes the I raid, go to bed? The raid shouldn't take more than like 10 minutes, max. Literally just smelting the shit. And then we're you ready have enough to go. now? Yeah, it, it's just smelting. That's all. That's all that I'm waiting on. All right, I'm making eight C4. Yep, we have enough. Let's do it, dude. Who would have known that when we first started this wipe, we got raided. It felt hopeless. We're gonna raid these guys who raided us. Who would have known that would have happened? Nobody, man. It's a revenge <sighs> story of a lifetime. What do you have to say for it? I love it. You love it. I love it. This is the rust effect, man. This is why I play this game. This is why we go, we get down bad, and then we come up, and then we raid back who raided us. That's like the ultimate story of rust. All right, okay. here's what you're in charge of. Give it to me. Explosive ammo. You know how to use that, all right? So we're gonna get you a SAR to shoot that, and this is also what you're in charge of. The grenade launcher. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
fun. This was it. This was the moment we've been waiting for ever since Shit. our initial start got run off the tracks. It was time to raid back Suck once and for all. All right, lead the way. Let's go. Where is it? Doors or walls? What sounds I like, better? I like the one with the uh, the better possibility for loot. Because so. here, here's what I'm thinking. Like, we blow through this wall, which is 2C4, and then it's 8C4 yeah. to get into the armored wall. But if that isn't the main loot, then we're screwed. Whereas if we go through doors, I'm trying to think, because this is only 64 explosive ammo. And then it would be garage door here, here. Yeah, he's probably got three garage doors. I think we can go through doors, man. I think we should try it. Alright, so head on then. Okay, um, uh, shoot HE grenades at this. So shoot the grenade launcher at, the, at that sheet metal door. You like that? Yeah, that's fun. Just keep shooting it. Oh! Ooh, that is a really good sign. Okay, either way, it's gonna be cheaper to go through the doorway, so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go through this, okay? Step back. Okay, another armored door. You wanna do the honors? Here. Uh with what? 2C4. Just throw it on the armored door. Oh, you almost missed. Holy fuck. <laughs> you almost missed. Damn. Oh my that's perfect. I'm gonna satchel this. Shoot an entire mag of um, SAR ammo into that. Okay, nice. Oh, there's a shotgun trap. Careful. I'm gonna grenade this. Okay, I broke it. Alright. Um, okay, I'm gonna 1C4 both of these. All right, now I need you to... Okay, this is kind of tough. Okay, stand in this corner as, as backed up as you can and shoot an HE at those two garage doors right in the corner. Right into the corner. Yeah. Okay, stop. You're in, dude. Almost, yeah. Look, there he is. Suck toes, fuck hoes, there he is. Oh, I'm, I, I've taken that motherfucker out. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Alright, one more door. I'm gonna see for it. Actually, you do it. It's the last door. Alright, let me put oh that on here. My god. Ready? Yeah, do it. Okay, um, don't shoot HEs at this. Look at this top right box. Holy shit. Yeah, he's got a lot. I'm gonna take those wow. satchels and finish off this um door. Oh my god, look at down look at all the weapons. Bugged. Alright. Um, do you still have explosive ammo? Yeah, I got 74. I got a lot. Shoot 10 at that t tool cupboard. Oh yeah, take a gander. It's a lot of high quality metal and a little bit of scrap. Just like that, we did it! So we successfully raided Suck. It may have been an offline raid, but when Suck raided us originally, we didn't stand much chance either. The revenge was sweet, but putting that aside, I had a really fun time with my dad, and I'm so happy that we got to experience pretty much everything that Rust has to offer together. I hope you guys enjoyed the journey as much as I did. Until next time, peace out.